Hey guys, uh, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how to update to the new uh, the new Gamma uh, 0 0.9 from, say, the previous version, because I haven't updated mine yet. I just had to finish uh, a few episodes on my series, so I'm updating it now from, I think it's probably 0 0.8 or 0 0.8 something to 0 0.9. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go into the Discord, and then go to how to update, and then it'll tell you where to get the new launcher, and you'll click this little announcements um, tag here, and that'll take you to the exact part in his announcements page where he's got it linked, so you want to take that top link, and then you can find that in your downloads folder. Now where do we, we have to take that and put it in so my gamma is installed on my SSD, so we'll go to my SSD, and then, now, okay, yours should be called gamma, but I think mine's called new folder, because I'm fooling, no, no, that's not it, installer, yes, so, well, mine should, be... I should have called it gamma, but, yeah, it's where the, uh, the mod pack installer is, so you go in here, and you pop that in there, and then you can delete this old one, And you want to unpack this, so you right-click on it, 7-zip. It, it does say you should use 7-zip over WinRAR, because uh, WinRAR doesn't extract things properly sometimes. So you want to extract that in the... Now that folder is called the Grox Mod Pack Installer folder. So you just put the new launcher in there, you delete the old one, unpack the new one in here, and then you pop it open. Okay, and once that's open, this is the new one, this is what it looks like. And he said just click install slash update gamma, and that should just do it. So I'll give it a go, and I'll see if it works for me. Yeah, so it's downloading all of the new, um, all of the new mods that are in the mod pack. I think there's now 376, where there was 358 or something. So it's just got to download the extra 20 or so. And then it'll uh, arrange those into where they need to be. And it looks like there's a little progress bar down here that we can keep our eyes on as well. Okay, so that took about, for me, I don't know, maybe 35 minutes? So it's between 35 and 40 minutes. Um, obviously, that'll de uh, vary depending on your internet or other factors like, you know, your specs. But yeah, it took about 35 to 40 minutes for me. And it says just here, you know it's done because it says installation complete. You can now click play. That's that's a new feature. That wasn't there the last time. I imagine, well, it did create the shortcuts I was expecting. So I thought I'd just close this down and then launch that. That'll open the MO2 with all the mods in it. But uh, I'm going to click play and just see what it does. It might. This probably just opens MO2 as well. Yeah, yeah, it's opening MO2. All right, so I'll load up the game and... Um, We'll see if it works. Oh, well, first, actually, I'll have to show you the MO2. Yeah, so it appears to have worked for me because I used to have 358, which is what you would have if you had the the last iteration of Gamma installed, and now it's gone up to 376, which is the correct number. So that seems to be fine. Uh, we can probably close this now. You close the little black box, and it'll shut the rest of it. Uh, so yeah, I'll open it up and see how it runs. Okay, the splash screen is informing me that I am on version 0 0.9. We're not there yet, though. It hasn't opened yet. <laughs> Everything could still go horribly wrong. Okay, so yeah, looks looks like it's working. I just had to turn down the audio first thing. Um, oh, there's a nice that FPS counter never used to be there. It's obviously one of the new things, maybe. Well, obviously is. <laughs> Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pop open a new game here, and we'll just see. Uh, I want to just see how it runs and how it looks. Uh, there's lots of new font going on here. I don't know how I feel about new font. Uh, we'll pop into the rookie village and just see how it runs. I mean, it could still go wrong. Okay. Oh, it looks. Oh, it looks dreary. So this is the new, uh, the new shader. Oh my god, it's so dreary. Oh, 
Where's all the color gone? Well, it's working anyway. Um, yeah. It's definitely working. Uh, it, it reminds me a lot of, um, what was that mod called? Misery? Yeah, I think it was Misery. Just uh, <laughs> the dreariness, the, the lack of color. Okay, so that'll do it. Um, I hope this was helpful. Uh, I should have said at the start, like if you if you don't know where your um, your gamma folder is, because I got a little confused when I went into my SSD and I couldn't I couldn't see what I'd named it something different previously. I thought, but anyway, yeah. If you've installed gamma, you should know where that is. So it'll be different for everyone depending on where you've installed it. But yeah, um, it's just this is the only thing you really need to find is the Grox mod pack installer, and then you know pop in the thing, extract it. So uh, I hope this was helpful, and I might do a an actual full installation guide as well soon, um, because I noticed if we go into the Discord here and go to how to install, I recently made a video on this, but now it looks completely different. So I'd say it still functions the same, but they've kind of streamlined it a bit. And uh, so I'll probably go through that and do a full-on tutorial. Uh, let me know if you'd find that helpful as well. And I mean, my, my other video, I made it about a month ago. It's probably obsolete now because, yeah, that if you watch that video, you can't really make things out very well anymore. Or, well, you know, comparing that video to this, you, you, it'd be a bit more confusing. So, um, yeah, I'll probably update that. But uh, thank you for watching. If it was helpful, you know, leave a like little subscribe here and there never goes amiss. <laughs> so thank you. Bye-bye.